Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, like this video, and watch this video towards as we will be sharing the hashtag keyword for the day, and then comment hashtag the keyword in the comment section. Good luck. Now, let's continue with this breaking news of Iraq Dinar today, so stick till the end of this video. The title of this article is, The Central Bank of Iraq is in the process of expanding the network of banks to provide service in different currencies such as UN or Euro. Shafak News Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Faisal al Hamis, stated that the bank has a tendency to expand the network of correspondent banks to provide services in different currencies indicating that there is a desire by solid international banks to enter the Iraqi banking sector and work inside the country. Al Hamas said in a televised interview, excerpts of which were published by the central bank's media today, saying that the central bank is striving to bridge the gap between the official and parallel price, and our supervision continues over all banks by increasing confidence in the local market and cooperation with international institutions. And there are supervisory teams that visit banks to follow up on operations selling for dollars and meeting the demand for it and the need of the market and citizens. And he added by saying, quote, we noticed a reluctance to enter the electronic platform launched by the Central Bank of Iraq by merchants. And there were delays due to the recent experience by banks dealing with the bank. And we noticed that some banks do not implement the transfer for a long time and arrive at the bank late. And we check it, and the integrity of the parties dealing with the window, and implement it in a standard period, and then release the money. Al Hamas also noted that the number of employees of the electronic platform is sufficient in the current situation, and the number will be increased, and the work will be transferred to morning and evening shifts in the event of an increase in the demand for transfers in the platform. He pointed out that due to inquiries about money laundering and other issues related to the auditing authority, the period for releasing the electronic platform funds to the beneficiary who owns the transfer takes a long time, stressing that the U.S. Federal Reserve does not work on auditing, but rather the Central Bank of Iraq is ultimately responsible for that through the auditing company contracting with us. He went on to say that there is a development in the Iraqi banking sector to achieve the objectives of the feasibility studies and the expansion of the network of correspondent banks to provide service in different currencies such as the yuan or the euro. There is also an agreement with banking institutions regarding yuan transfers. Requests after a short pause and there is a desire from solid international banks to enter the Iraqi banking sector and work inside the country. Al Hamas denied that there is a directive from the bank to limit the withdrawal $250 per day, saying, quote, it is the prerogative of the bank issuing the card or the owner of the ATM, and there is no cash limit if the purchase is through electronic payment devices. He stressed that the Central Bank of Iraq is working to stop networks that issue cards with forged documents or deceased persons, and use these cards to smuggle currency out of Iraq, which affects the Iraqi economy. This concludes this news article. Our thoughts on this article is it highlights several positive developments for Iraq's economy and its people. Firstly, the Central Bank of Iraq's emphasis on obliging all providers of goods and services to use the official exchange rate. And the Iraqi dinar can help stabilize the local currency and improve its value. This can have a positive impact on the purchasing power of Iraqi citizens, as a stronger dinar can allow them to buy more goods and services with their local currency. 
Secondly, the efforts to expand the network of correspondent banks and facilitate transactions in different currencies such as yuan or euro can promote international trade and investment in Iraq. This can lead to increased economic activity and potentially attract solid international banks to operate in the country, which can bring expertise, capital, and competition to the banking sector, ultimately benefiting the Iraqi economy. Overall, these developments are positive for Iraq's economy and the Iraqi people as they promote the use of the local currency, improve its value, and enhance the stability of the economy. It also reflects the government's commitment to financial regulations and reforms, which can create a favorable environment for economic growth and development. Thirdly, the focus on electronic payment devices and cards, as well as efforts to combat fraud and currency smuggling, can promote transparency, efficiency, and accountability in the financial system. This can foster trust among consumers and businesses, encourage more people to use electronic payment methods, and reduce the reliance on cash transactions, which can help combat corruption and improve the overall health of the economy. Overall, these measures taken by the Central Bank of Iraq can contribute to a more stable and vibrant economy, with a stronger dinar, improved purchasing power for Iraqi citizens. Lastly, it increased international trade and investment, and a more transparent and efficient financial system. What are your thoughts on this article? Before ending this video, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is IntelliInvest. The winner will be announced next Sunday, and we'll announce the winner in one of the Sunday's videos coming up. Stay tuned and good luck. Please drop a comment below. Let us know what you think and don't forget to add hashtag keyword. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next one.